and welcome to this week's episode of Dandy TV. And as you can see, I've come here to sunny Cambridgeshire and we're going to be learning all about how to get green fingers. Not from picking your nose, from gardening. We'll also have the best of your jokes, but first, before all of that, Dandy News! Thanks very much, Chris. Greg's have introduced a new bear stew to their menu. A customer said, it's very tasty, but a bit grisly. A man has stolen over 300,000 batteries from Duracell's factory in Bournemouth. He was charged very quickly. A short fortune teller has escaped from prison. Policeman said, there's a small medium at large. And finally, a man has invented the newest and quickest garden bush trimmer. He says, I used cutting hedge technology. Hmm. That's it for this week's Dandy News. Dawn, lovely to meet you. Thank you so much for inviting us into your garden. You're welcome. Now, the sun is out. People want to get out in the garden, especially kids. What is the best thing that, that you can start doing as a, a child in the garden? Just put seed in the ground, really. I mean, amazingly, one thing that doesn't look very exciting will grow. I mean, seeds do want to grow. It's not actually that difficult. So just do that. And you write a blog uh, on the internet about trying to inspire your kids, who we can see dusted around yes. the garden, to get into gardening. How much fun uh, do they find it and how hard has it been to try and persuade them to come out and, and get involved? Oh no, they love being in the garden. It's not always so easy to persuade them to actually do the gardening, but they do enjoy <laughs> it. Um, it's kind of like looking after a pet though. It's, yeah. If you can keep a radish alive for a couple of weeks, then I might think about them having a dog kind of thing. <laughs> Don't water a dog though, is what I've yeah. heard. What is the easiest thing to grow, would you say, in the garden? Uh, probably, for children I'd say uh, beans are very good because they're big enough not to lose them, sneeze them, drop them where they don't mean to be and they don't quite fit up a nose, so I'll tell they're you what, safe. You mentioned beans. Yeah. How realistic is Jack and the Beanstalk? Because I've seen that beanstalk and it's pretty large. Is that something you can grow? Can you grow something that big? You can grow something up a very tall pole. But very unlikely there's going to be a large person living at the end of it with a goose. But there's always a chance, right? If you want to be hopeful, that's What's good. the hardest thing to grow? I'd imagine because of the climate here, there are some things that are just very tricky to make grow. There's some things that need more heat than we've got. So things like aubergines and things like that can be quite tricky. But you can give them a go and if you've got a greenhouse, you can try it. And even if you've got a really warm, sunny, sunny spot, that's good. Um, some stuff is just a bit fussy. Things like cauliflower's not easy. Cauliflower. But really? Ugh, who wants to grow cauliflower? Is not it worth me. it? I tell you what, Banana Man, obviously a big fan of bananas. Uh, Can you yeah. grow them in this country? Not really hot enough, uh, sorry. It's all right, it's fine. I'll, I'll let him know gently. Yeah. Looking around your garden, there's plenty growing. What are some of the more interesting things we can grow? Well, in terms of vegetables, I would go for kohlrabi. I mean, it tastes a bit like cabbage crossed with a potato, which doesn't sound very appealing, but it actually looks like an alien, so. Amazing. Exactly. An alien vegetable. Does it look like that chap? Yeah, it's probably scarier, just. Scarier yeah. than a scarecrow. Yeah. Crumbs. Now listen, as well, I've mentioned your blog that you write. Yes. Where can people go to read that and get into uh, gardening and get some tips? If you go to www.littlegreenfingers.com. Littlegreenfingers.com. Yeah. Brilliant. And listen, there's our pitfalls, of course, in the garden. Yes. Can be dangers. Like creepy crawlies. Yes. What's the worst creepy crawly you've seen? Well, see, they're not worst. They're good. We like creepy crawlies. Okay. They're interesting. We have had a grass snake. That was good. Wow. Yeah. So you didn't expect I that. I did snake. not expect that. A snake in England. Yes. You could, right, so you get a snake in your garden, but yeah. you can't grow a banana. No, but the snake is actually smaller than the banana, so. <laughs> that is, that's okay. I wouldn't yeah. want to see a snake yeah. bigger than a banana. What about spiders? Are you, are you fine with spiders? Anything you don't like? We're good with spiders. The children aren't entirely convinced by bees. And, you know, wasps, really. What's the point? What is the point of a wasp? What's the point of wasps? Let us know. Let us know. What's the point you know. of wasps? Any wasp watching? Let us know what the point in you is. Planting a bean, then. You've right. trusted me with a big job. I don't want to let you down. Yeah. What do I need to do? You'll be happy that it's simple. Take this. Yeah. It's a dibber. You could use your fingers. A dibber. But then I'm worried you won't wash afterwards. So we're no, going to use don't. a dibber. Never wash. Right. If you make a hole here, just that's push the be dibber the in. That's it. All the way. Dib it in about. What do you want? It's about three times as deep as your bean. That's your bean. 
Oh, I think I've gone a bit too you much. You have, see, think, already. Let's, let's re redib. Redib. Re Why are we doing it close to this thing? Because it needs some support, so it's going to climb up this. Ah, cool. Okay, good. Right, there we go. There Three go. times, exactly. There's your bean. Love it. Just, what is that, a kidney in. bean? That is a, it's a climbing bean, basically. Great. So Good at, good at mountaineering. Right, right and now then what? you cover it over and press down the soil. Now you need to give it a watering in. Get Perfect. it started. How much do we use? As much as you can. Give it a good soaking. Woo! And nice. how big will this uh, bean, this climbing bean climb? Well, it will climb to the top of this. That's as far as it can climb, but it could climb high if we put a taller cane in. And would you be able to eat any of the beans it makes? No, they're just for show. Oh, show Which beans. Eat the beans. I like beans. Good. Excellent. Thank you so much for teaching me how to plant a bean. I'm going to be doing this. My, my house is going to be full of beans. Right. Full of beans. You might want to try something else as well. Uh, now listen, do you want to hear a joke? Okay. Right. What do you call a man with a spade on his head? I don't know. What do you call a man with a spade on his head? Doug! <laughs> right, let's see if you can do better. Time for your jokes. Could have pretended to laugh. Right. A little boy came home. It was a cannibal. He just got home from a holiday. He had an arm and a leg missing. His mum says to him, what on earth has happened to you? And he says, mum, never send me on a holiday like that again. She says, why? He goes, well, to be honest, mum, I'm just going to tell you the truth. It was self-catering. What do you get if you cross a kangaroo with a sheep? A woolly jumper. Those jokes were ace, and if you think you can make us laugh, then just email us a video of your favourite joke to jokes at dandy.com. Sadly, that's all we've got time for this week, but join us next week where we're going to be looking at the brand new Pokemon video game. Sweet! See you next time!